Buenos dias all, RGT85 here, hope everyone is having a great day. We have some interesting stuff to talk about. Sony, we're only gonna talk about Sony, so no one's gonna watch this video because evidently I only like Nintendo and that's all I ever talk about on this channel. But let's prove people wrong. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share, hit that bell notification as well. But without any further ado, let's jump into what's happening in the world of video games and the PlayStation Plus stuff. Now, when this PlayStation Plus stuff was initially announced, a lot of people were leery about it for one main reason, and that was the price point. Now, your standard PlayStation Plus in this new service was gonna be $60. There was gonna be another tier for a hundred dollars that would give you some additional playstation 5 and playstation 4 games the ps plus extra and then there's the playstation plus premium which was the whole big shebang that was the thing that most people were looking forward to 120 dollars a year playstation 4 playstation 5 games plus a back catalog of games now I didn't really mind the pricing structure as long as the games themselves managed to, you know, be worthwhile. If there's a good variety of games and a lot of different games that you could check out, then, you know, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Is it trying to compete with Game Pass? I mean, it's kind of similar to Game Pass, but I don't think it's necessarily a competition, much like I don't think Nintendo Switch Online is meant to compete with this service and uh, Game Pass. But I do feel like Switch Online and this service have a little bit more in common than either of these companies do have with game pass well we got the announcement this morning about what games are going to be involved in this and honestly it's it's not too bad so let's take a look at what's happening with this and of course what games are involved in it Alrighty, so here's the official PlayStation blog press release talking about this all new PlayStation Plus games lineup. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Demon's Souls, Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut, NBA 2K 2022, and more join the service. Basically talking about what this is going to be, you know, what, what's happening here. We got some classic games, you know, revealed as well. We'll get deeper into that in a little bit, but let's take a look at everything. So as you can see, they are doing, you know, the, the full on rebranding. I think it looks nice. It looks clean. You know, it's, it's not terrible but I don't care about branding, I care about games. So looking at the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 game catalog for PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium members, these are the games you're going to be getting. So you look at this list here, there's a lot of PlayStation Studio games and I don't necessarily think many people thought we were gonna see this many PlayStation 4 and really subsequently PlayStation 5 games that were added into your service because you know there's a lot of stuff here you've got games like Destruction All-Stars which should have been one to begin with but games like Demon Souls which really hasn't seen a price drop uh Gravity Rush games which you know didn't sell very well but there's a huge following for those games you got Infamous games you've got Spider-Man Miles Morales and just the standard Spider-Man so another PlayStation 5 game in here Shadow of the Colossus the last guardian the last of us remastered which really sort of puts a monkey wrench i feel in the essential remaster that's supposedly happening for this game you've got uncharted you've got wipeout you've even got smaller games like medieval and stuff little big planet 3 knack like i think this is a very stout lineup of games that will be coming to this service from you know sony themselves and then you also have third party games now while this third party list I, you know, it's nowhere near as good as something like Game Pass. I do think there are some really good games in here. You got some Far Cries. You got For Honor. I don't even know if people still play that game. Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a great game that everyone should play. Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, that's a pretty big get, I feel. You know, that's a that's a sizable game that people are still playing. You got Soul Calibur 6. The Crew 2. Once again, is anyone still playing that game? But, you know, looking at this list of, of games, like, this, this is good. This is good. This will be available in these different plans. I'm assuming these are the games that are launching on the first day. They don't say anything otherwise. Like, this will be the trickled thing. This is a selection of content that will be available for these plans. And, you know, they are planning on, like, over 400 games, I believe, from the various consoles. So, you know, not bad not bad at all in my opinion there's a there's a lot of good stuff in here a lot of sort of hidden gems decent third-party support that i'm sure will get better with time as more people sign up for the service but you know not not too shabby looking now the thing i was really interested in though was the classic games because you know if you're paying that extra money that 120 dollars because you can get all this stuff at the 99.99 tier you don't need the 120 tier so what are they going to do with classic stuff to make it worthwhile well there's 
actually a pretty decent surprise within this as well now looking at it here you can see there's going to be an all-new interface with menus that allow you to save your game at any time so you know that's a save state and rewind if you want to do things over much like sort of you know how nintendo does things as well also players who have previously purchased the digital version of selects games from the original playstation and psp generation will not have to make a separate purchase or sign up to playstation plus to play these titles on ps4 or ps5 when these titles are released for the playstation 4 and 5 players can head to the playstation store and download a version for the consoles at no extra cost if they already own the digital version of the title some titles will also be available for digital uh, individual purchase so that right there is, is, is great like people want to be able to individually buy some games like i mean i know i would like to be able to buy some of the nintendo switch online games individually sort of a la carte instead of just you know having this online based service so i think that's a good thing you know giving people more options is always a good thing and you can see here additionally some remastered classics from previous console generations will be added to playstation plus so here's an early look at the selection of games that will be available so kicking things off we have basically your your original playstation and psp stuff you've got ape escape which is you know a classic iq intelligent cube the original siphon filter where gabe logan looks like he just took a dump in his pants when he runs around i don't think this game is going to hold up very well give me siphon filter 3 that's a much more playable game you got one you got one psp game here with super stardust portable is this a game that people like i i don't know about it third party partners mr driller tekken 2 worms world party and worms armageddon so looking at this I don't think this is worth you know that extra money but like it says here there's other stuff involved in this as well and hopefully over time we'll get some more games i'm sure we will but you know here's where things get i think very interesting is the classic games catalog of remasters now wait a minute here we've got some really good stuff here we've got games from the playstation 4 that were essentially remastered and brought over to the system so we have games like siren i would really like to play siren nowadays i wouldn't like to play the original version but siren is a really fun you know horror game you got jacks games you got hot shots tennis you got dark cloud ape escape 2 like there's some good stuff in here and then the third party partners you got bioshock remastered which these, these are all like ps3 games and beyond but whatever you know more games are better and so having all these games here pretty decent so now we're looking at it and it's like okay you know maybe it's, it is getting a bit more worth that price point point. and then we have the original playstation 3 games via streaming the play the new playstation plus will offer playstation 3 games to stream and play on ps4 ps5 and pc four stars they said shit they said the F word after saying that. These are original non-remastered versions of the PlayStation 3 games and are available to PlayStation Plus uh, premium members where cloud streaming is available. Here's an early look at the games. Now, they don't say if there's going to be any online multiplayer in these games. And, you know, for the most part, looking at these games here that are for the PlayStation 3, you know, I don't really need the online stuff here. A lot of infamous games. Uh, Motor Storm, which is a series that just kind of went away. Puppeteer, which is a very, very expensive game if you actually want to own it on the PlayStation 3. Ratchet and Clank, a lot of Ratchet and Clank stuff. So a solid list, you know, pretty, pretty good stuff here. But the third party stuff is where a game catches my eye because we have the original Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Cool game. Uh, you got some other stuff here. DMC uh, Cry, or uh, what the hell am I saying? Devil May Cry or DMC HD Collection. But here's the game I want the online multiplayer for fear because if you ever played fear online this game is awesome like there's a nail gun and you can pin people to the wall and essentially if you do it right you can make it look like they're being crucified with like their arms out and they're pinned to the wall and i just think that's freaking cool like it's just such a cool visual and the online in this game is awesome the game still holds up today i just recently bought it for the xbox 360 and i'm like damn this game still rules ass so you know we got the time limited game trials as well which is a lot of controversial stuff we got the third party people we got the first party people you can play up for two hours so you can really see if a game is is worth it to you and this is what i like here a roadmap so you get a monthly refresh on the first tuesday of the month for the playstation plus essential plan and the higher tiers with the new ps4 and ps5 games added to the service and then you get an additional monthly refresh in the middle of the month with new games across the playstation plus extra and premium slash deluxe plans the number of games will be refreshed will vary per month that's called a roadmap 
And one of the biggest problems I have with the Nintendo Switch Online service is the lack of a roadmap because you don't know when this shit is going to happen. They just pull it willy nilly out of their ass like a couple days before it comes out. Sometimes it's a week or two before the game comes out. Sometimes it's literally like a day or two. Sometimes they don't even announce it. They just drop stuff. And I am a man who likes roadmaps. And, I, you know, well, let me take that back. I hate roadmaps for new video games, but I like roadmaps about when things are going to be updated. And this is nice to have. So overall, this ain't too bad. I don't think it's a Game Pass killer. I don't think it's necessarily intended to be a Game Pass killer. The whole Game Pass killer thing was made up by journalists and, and people like me, you know, just posing a question that we all knew the answer to. If anything, I think this is more similar to, it's almost like a, a bastard hybrid of, you know, Game Pass and Nintendo Switch Online. The Nintendo Switch Online stuff being more involved with the classic stuff and then the Game Pass stuff being with the newer games. But I think it's a decent blend all things considered, I, I think you are getting a really good value for, for what you are putting out. Now, obviously, if these games don't resonate with you, then there's no reason to do something like sign up for the enhanced part of the service. But for someone like me who likes a bit of variety and likes, you know, these older games because I'm an old man, you know, I think it's a pretty good list. I think it's pretty solid. And I think, you know, as time goes on, the service is just going to improve and they're going to add more stuff to it. I am a little bit leery about the whole cloud stuff because I don't in all of my instances of playing cloud games, I've had no luck whatsoever. I have fantastic Internet. I've tried to play X Cloud with Halo multiplayer online for Halo Infinite because I was watching a Knicks game one night and the spawn cast wanted to play some Halo. So I just booted it up on my little Chromebook that I use and no, man. No, so I am a little bit leery about that, but I guess time will tell. As it stands now, though, pretty solid stuff. I, I think this is going to be a very enjoyable service, and I think we'll get some more surprises from it as well. Ubisoft has already announced that Ubisoft Plus, or whatever the hell they call it, is actually going to be involved with the highest tier, the premium tier for this as well, which, you know, now you're starting to look at it from more of a Game Pass perspective because that's another thing that Game Pass offers is different companies, you know, having their subscription services implemented into it, which stop with all these damn subscription services. Just keep it, keep it simple. Keep it to the companies themselves, the main three, the console manufacturers, not the software manufacturers, because that's just where things get so deleted. But overall, I think this is very impressive, but I want to hear your guys' feedback. Are you interested in this? Did anyone even watch this fucking video? Because I know there's no Nintendo stuff in the title, but I like to branch out. I like to talk about other things. You just don't let me because you don't watch some of the other stuff. So it's like, please, man, just put the video up in the background or something. And as always, thank you for checking out this video. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share, turn on the bell notification, all that good stuff. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.